That's the safety down up. Uh, well, if your brass is going to go that way, so you want to stand over there. And you're going to want to uh, rack the slide. Uh, there you go. Yeah. See how the CB is shorter? Uh -huh. Bullet. That's why the magazine will only hold a few of them. Oh. Because they just pop out if you put them in. Oh. Uh, okay. I like that. It's, it's something used to getting used to shooting through a sight. Uh. I've never shot through one before. Load the CB first in, into the magazine, and uh -huh. then we'll put some others in. Okay. So you got six CCI mini mags, one Thunderbolt, and one CB. Yep. It's kind of interesting to shoot the different kinds. The last one was a subsonic. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't even know if it cycled the action. No. That's all right. Get me loading the the. Uh... Well, hello. Hey, you want to shoot some? Not yet. Shoot this little. One. It's no recoil or anything. It's fun. Try it. Yeah, yeah, those are, those are fine. Use it. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> you'll want to stand there because the brass is going that way. And you want to lock your right elbow. Oh, I see y'all's targets. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Can you see through it yet? Yeah. You probably won't want your thumb against the slide. There you go. And you could kind of uh, give yourself some opposing tension with your left hand to steady it. Yeah. Yeah, try hitting. You see the tubes on the ground? You might be. You might see those move if you hit them. It's good to have a target that you can tell you've hit it. Uh, we didn't arrange for that this time, but uh, we'll go out and look at the targets when we're done. <laughs> you, done? Yeah. Nah, you got to try the 445. <laughs> I'm going to see Roman first. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna shoot that. I think it's That's gonna, that's gonna ah. hurt my wrist. <laughs> no. You know it's so big and heavy that the weight of it absorbs the recoil. It's surprisingly I, gentle. I don't to shoot. know if I can hold that up. Well, it is heavy, but you could you could do it if you wanted to. Uh, still got rounds in there. Clear it out. Yeah. That's right. You can just leave it open. You could, or you could close it if you wanted. Oh, what did you want me to do? Well, Sorry. just leave it open. Uh -oh. If you open, if you'll pull that, don't, don't, don't release it. Just pull the slide back, and you can just leave it like that. Okay. It's pretty simple, time-consuming. Got the uh, powder measure set for 40, uh, 40 grains. You loosen that screw, and you can adjust it up to. 120 grains. Oh, okay. We're going to set it on 40. Uh, 
Why 40? Because it's a 45 caliber gun, and that's just sort of a rule of thumb. For loading black powder, you put the amount of powder in that it, you know, according to the caliber. But I've loaded it with a lot more than that. Oh wow. Okay. Now, normally I've used a patch with this, but the bullets. The wax on these bullets is so old that it has oxidized and it's, I can't even get a, get it in with a patch. Oh, wow. So, right. See that? Ugh. Push it down. Yeah. Now use the ramrod up close with it. I doubt I can hit anything with this, but I'm going to try to hit one of those uh, tubes. Uh -huh. Probably didn't hit anything. I can't tell because there's so much smoke, but probably didn't hit anything. You can feel the percussion off of it just standing oh, yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is crazy. <laughs> Where's the powder at, Gary? Uh, it's in that brown bottle to your left, and right there. There you go. As far as it goes in? Yeah, it's, that's, it looks about right. You may want to set the gun down so you can use both hands. How does this? Well, cock the hammer back and just uh, place the uh, cap right over the nipple. That? Yeah, and push it down with your thumb a bit. If you want to, you can gently set the hammer down on the nipple. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can push it this bit uh, to seat it if you want. That's good. That's it's fine. Okay. Now if you pull it back halfway, that's half cock. It ain't going off. Ah. But that's if where you, the half cock expression comes from. Yes. Uh, so but if you safety. pull it back, the rest of, what? So that's the safety of the original safety. That, that, that is the safety. Yes. Oh wow. Uh, but if you pull it back the rest of the way. Watch this, Erica. Plug your ears. Yep. Let her plug her ears. Let me get behind you. <laughs> that is kind of fun. That is nice. That is cool. Now, now I've got one pistol ball left. It's just a regular ball ammunition. You can shoot that if you want. And we'll use a patch with that.
Now what you want to do is uh, get the patch wet with spit. And then lay it over the muzzle. Yep. It's kind of gross. That's all right. That's good. Now that should go in a lot easier than that other one. Yeah, that's good. We're going to have to hold here. Go. Yeah. Oh yeah, I took it all down. Oh, I, I should have caught it that. all. I didn't catch it, did I? What? Said here we go. Now. Can't tell if I hit anything or not. Too much smoke. I could. I wasn't looking. I was looking at this. Yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the camera. Oh, went good, didn't? Yeah. Now you'll probably want to lay the gun down so you use both hands to fetch a cap out of there. Let's get a close up of that. Huh? I'm just going to get a close up of you putting that cap on. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. A lot of smoke. You can't see if you hit anything. Right? I know. <laughs> That's a nice little gun. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Because you could bury the loads. You could put uh, 20 grains and a regular pistol yeah. ball in it, or a lot more. And uh, I'll tell you a story about that. Well, you can make it hot. Well, it's been out in the sun. Uh, one time I was uh, shooting with a friend out at the South Canadian River in Oklahoma. And... Uh, I loaded it hot with about 65 grains of powder and one of those big bullets. And someone came and told me that my car was blocking them in. So I went to go move my car. When I came back, my friend had loaded it again on top of that. Oh, yeah. Double load? <laughs> and he was saying, gosh, this ramrod's not going very far down. And I thought, oh, man, I know why. You just loaded it on top of there. So we tied a string to it. Wedged it in a log and we got far away from it, yanked on the string. Loud mouth. It was loud. Yeah, it was like it didn't bust a barrel. <laughs> well, you know, people people say that about black powder guns. They say you might blow up the barrel. But no. No. I'll tell you how they test these things. They thread one end, put a plug in there, screw a plug in, and then uh, they have a hole drilled in the side and they put a fuse in it and they have it entirely filled with gunpowder. And they set it off, and uh, even that will not blow up one of these barrels. You know, I don't know why everybody thinks black powder guns are going to blow up. They're not. Now, if you put smokeless powder in it, that that, that could be a problem. But with black powder, yeah, you're not going to blow it up. Different powder, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. Uh.
which one you think the ball is. Oh, I have no idea which one the ball was. Quite a few holes through it. Uh huh. The core got hit more than the targets. Yeah. Yeah, th you definitely hit this more than once. Oh, cool. I'm fairly sure. Oh, no, actually, I'm not. I think <laughs> the bullet was... No, I don't end? think it was tumbling. I think it's just one shot, though. It's a big hole. It's a big hole. It's a big gun. Yeah, yeah I'm right. It's a big gun. Somebody hit this several... I don't know who did that. I was aiming at it. Okay, well, you probably did it. No one's gotten that one a couple times. No one's managed to get this one yet, though. Well, we have to fix that. We haven't even, I, yeah, I haven't even shot at it. One fell down. Oh yeah. If I shoot that one to the left of the small big tube, I'll probably knock down the tube, so I don't want to do that. I'll try that other one up to the left. That was a miss. <laughs> Can't hit nothing with that. Them really are the tin pace guns. that. You ever shot tracer rounds? I have not ever shot a tracer round. Can you buy them? Yeah. Can you buy them? No. I no, I don't think so. Look at your sight picture. Nope. Still in front of
Yeah. 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 No way that that 445 done that. Uh, yeah. Holy hell! Hit it. Man, that rutted out the ground. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know what? That plastic bag. Uh huh. It's got a whole bunch of bullet holes in it. Really? Yeah. Somebody was shooting the heck out of it. Yep, that's a shot. That's a hit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot that one still standing. Oh, there it is. Get it? All right. Yeah, that's it. Good, good deal. You got a bunch of them.